Hello there. Some players polish their builds for months to be able to solo the final boss of the game, Scorch Peach Queen. But if we run an energy explosive garbage, do we actually need any build to be able to heal her? Let's find out. Today I go with no perk cards, with no mutations, with no camps, food, buffs. The only perk I have is electric absorption. And there is no electric absorption as you see. All specials set to 1, I don't need them today. But what do I actually have? Well, strength plus 10 because of power armor and additionally strength and perception are buffed because of legendary mods. The weapon of choice will be Vampire Explosive Gatling Plasma with Prime Receiver. Means more damage against Scorched. The power armor has damage reduction legendary mod and I will talk about this later. What else do I have? Actually nothing. Uh, Nope, uh, no food drinks, and from 8 only red right and steam packs. On the wheel I'm having uh, this and my weapon to repair. As you see the Scorched Officer can actually deal some damage, not much, but anyways, he can. It will not be the same during the fight, but just watch, you will see. Speaking of damage outcome, here yeah, is easy actually, but let's try Yogi. Yogi doesn't want to die fast. This handy kinda could survive the first stop, but explosive GP is still overpowered. I have ward overpowered, even with no buffs. Now about Scorch Beaches. This one is receiving damage like you should from any other weapon. I mean, like good, good weapon. Before this fight, I intended to complete the Scorched Earth with no armor at all, completely naked. But in this case, you hardly can survive any ultrasonic attack. When she screams at you, you're dead. The second try was in power armor, but not legendary. Which is kinda doable, I think. The main issue was me being at top of survival tent. And if you do that, she doesn't want to land. Ultrasonic attacks are powerful, actually. That is why I've decided to go with legendary armor. Zealot is kinda too much. They will never be able to kill you if you have any melee attackers nearby and damage dealer legendary mods like do 100 poison, fire or frozen damage to melee attackers. Of course it works only if you have vampire weapon equipped. I have it equipped so I'm kinda safe. While reloading the weapon I pop up a sim pack just in case you remember that crazy scorched officer right? What about self-destruction method any energy explosive junk user uses? Well, to prevent yourself from dying, you kinda need to keep distance and basically shoot away, not up close. Something like this. Since I have no demolition expert equipped and no grenadier, I'm kinda untouchable. But anyways, uh, keep yourself safe is my only way to win this fight. That is why I step away a little bit, I need to keep distance, right? And then just spray and pray. The damage outcome isn't something wow, it can be too much stronger, but if you touch something up close, the respawn option will be the next what you will see. Oops, wait, I need to reload. The Helifan moment was a completed daily plus rank up, meaning another launch box for my new third character. Yep. I remember that my all time record was rank 206, but now with this 25% boost you can go even further. Ugh, Bethesda, Bethesda. At this moment everyone around is trying to stagger me. Good job, Scorchies! Before I finish her off, I want to kindly remind you to like this video. If you didn't, probably sub my channel, because anyways you will watch the next one. Write a comment, because this is how YouTube thinks that the video should be shown to someone else. And be happy, because I said so. Just in case even the word something is already something in the comment section. My dear Scorch Biachi, this is the end of the line. Bye bye. Here's my power armor for today. 
I wasn't that picky this time. I just wanted a zealot set. But damage to nearby melee attackers kill you, so keep it in mind. Remember to equip something vampire. A chance to reduce damage while standing still is helpful as well. Talcat power armor is kinda OP by default, it has its own damage reduction effect, plus power armor reduces damage in console, that is how you become even more OP. Was it challenging my run? No, it was walk in the park. But still I didn't use any perk, any mutation, any cam, food buff, nothing. The energy explosive power is beyond crazy. By the way, here I can't kill myself. But I can kill a mob like this and vampire attack will rock. Thank you for watching. I will see you later.